Ha! <laughs> ah, striptease! Or is it triptease? Hold on. Plus one to mine attributes. Triptease. Sorted flavors. Triptical leaves. Okay. So we're gonna go and consume you. What is it? F. Plus one to our mind attributes. Hack! Ah, oh, no, it's still locked. Damn it. Oh, XP bar under your health. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Let's get Max. And then we can do his mission, and then we'll switch back to Nyoka to do the rest of the uh, the story stuff here. And obviously we bring Pravardi with us all the time, forever. So yeah, plus 10 hack. I wonder how bad the falling damage is. There's Grim. Uh, I'm not talking to you yet. Or am I? Oh, I have the poster! Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Yeah, here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. And then level up. Um, so yeah, we're currently sitting at a 60 hack now because of our companion. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to put two points in this, which will also give us access to the restricted items. Uh, I'll just apply these. I'm going to save the rest temporarily. Oh, did you guys get to your next threshold as well? Yes, you did. Bonus science weapon damage. See, if if I liked him more, he'd be great to keep around for the hack bonus and the science damage, science weapon bonus. Ooh, 25% more TTD. Yes, please. Thank you very much, Parvati. Um, Yacht Club. Hold on. Before I go into the Yacht Club, where is the Saltuna factory? Oh, I think it's this big thing over here. Help! Someone's been killed! What? I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you alright? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed Gear on my mouth. Gear worn by your companions affect if your skills. If you're going into the apartment, I did not do realize not that. Go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Yeah, I'm running, uh, I think, now, 110 if you'll excuse uh, field me, of view. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Uh, I don't remember what they said. Did they say first door on the right? I'm going to go left first because that's funny to me. Oh, there's something foul leaking from your heart and upstairs. Ew! Please keep your window shut. Leave it open... Keep odd hours. Yeah, I think I've still got my FOV set to 110, which is not quite the cap, but it's pretty close. Um, is that under... No. It's under... Oh, there it is. Yeah, 110. I think the default is 75. Much too narrow. Whatever you do, don't get too positive, Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know what? Are you sneaking or repairing? I guess you're repairing. If you'd gotten stuck in an hour-long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be hanging. Just checking all the rooms. Because why not, right? Alright. Yep. Oh! oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. What a gruesome way to die. I mean, they're all pretty gruesome. It looks like he was bludgeoned to death with a big hammer. Listen, I'm no CSI, but I know hammer deaths. He was killed with purple berry crunch.
Betting slip lists increasingly bold wagers for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from Left Field Toss Ball Betting. Mmm. Several ragged outfits, all the same cut and color, were stuffed into this suitcase. Hastily packed suitcase. This guy, so this guy owed money and he's trying to skip out on town. Yeah, investigate the betting. Hmm. I mean, if they need someone new to beat people to death with hammers, I mean, I can always help. See, there's a plus five hack helmet. What's our current helmet? The problem is you can't compare in this screen, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, the hat! Ah. Oh. As much as I want to be team, like, awesome hat, Plus five dialogue skills. Nice. Well, here, we could... I don't know. We can go all the way here for huge amounts of armor. No, no skill bonuses. I don't know, man. I know. I'm selling. Oh, yeah, there's this thing here. The unique, but no. Um, wait, which one? Here. Level 26. Defense and a hack boost. I mean, covering up my face might be a good idea. We're going to we're gonna abandon uh, Team Cool Hat, you guys. It's They're not actually cool enough. The characters don't quite look neat enough with the hats. Which probably means I should make some more adjustments here. Well, the Vicar's not going to be with us all that long. The plus 15 engineering is kind of nice. Although we are going to be killing a lot of creatures here. Okay. Right. Uh, and I was still trying to go to... This thing so I can hack her computer. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap must. Yeah, I'm saving the level up uh, real quick to decide where, where I'm going to put my skill points. Ideally, I'd like to keep pumping science, but there you go, hack. Oh, it tells you not what you need, but what you have. So I have a 55 because it needed a 50. Um, so we'll review the files for B. Hecht. Branson Hex files are filled with Saltuna breeding charts, various pharmacological formula, and musings about why Saltuna seems to prefer borst and beans over plain borst warts. Is that it? That's everything I had here? <laughs> I thought it was going to be something incriminating I could use on, on what's her face here to make her life less great. All right. Yeah, let's go talk to uh, to Caleb Herrick. I want to take his side. Oh, that's a stash. No, I don't want to. I don't want to rob his stash. I mean, I could see if he had no money, he'd be forced to return to work. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the Universal Equation, also known as the Grand Plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. I'd like to say, yeah, uh-huh, oh, I understood some uh, of those words, but no. Right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. I will... There's a possibility... I may have to go without Parvati for a little while, just to get other conversations between companions. But even if I say, as I say that, I'm not entirely convinced that I will. Okay, well, since I don't need the hack, we're going to go and keep dumping points into uh, science. Science! So we can get all our discounts and stuff. All right, Caleb. New face, huh? You from Offworld? He kind of looks like a butt. 
Uh, yeah, I'm Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel. Okay, he's a lot nicer than what's her face. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Oh yeah, you're you're one to talk, Mrs. Boozy. I know I was there that night. Uh, what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered. Punches should always be an Responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. <clears throat> What's so bad that made you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Speaking of running us out of bits, Monarch, the dude we're looks free like from a space the board, hipster. You know? yeah. We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. All right, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Sanjar's going to fire Velma if you don't return to work. Any suggestions try to put pressure on Velma? That's what I want. If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just I'm rumors. not above that. We got no proof they're true. I'll blackmail her. She's terrible. Was this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taken if the If that's cut true. The so far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Well, I already hacked her computer. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Stash. Caleb. Okay, we're going back to the warehouse. Oh, I didn't actually lock in the skill points. Right. There you go. Apply. Thank you. Um, you ever think about what goes on in a marauder's head? Right, right up here. No, they're, they're yeah. crazy. Is there a side door over here? No. Yes. Oh, no, it's one of those locked doors that don't open. Okay. Ditto here. All right, warehouse, right? And we don't have we don't have a blip for it. There's Caleb and his stash. All right, there's the door we came in before. Looking for evidence that she's a cheat. We could just try talking to her again, but. Hey Velma, I got your caffeinoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. Don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? Here you go. Hacks more options. You know, now. you might consider a real night's sleep instead. Plenty of work to do, especially with so many no-shows. Okay, I guess I can't talk to you. Yeah, I'll probably just go back to the computer, because I might have something more to look for. Velma's not so bad, as long as you avoid her when she's stressed. She sounds like she's stressed all the time. Oh, where does this go? Oh, probably just the back landing again. Yeah, okay. All right, let's check the computer one more time. I'm just going to take a look at the financial records. Oh, V. Ballard. Velma's personal files are a morass of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, financial records. Careful study of her financials reveals that for the past several years, she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into her personal account. See, that shit, she, oh, I can't pay the workers more. No, I just don't have the money. You piece of garbage. The theft is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as rounding errors or mistakes in civil arithmetic. The sheer volume of occurrences, however, indicates deliberate intent. Uh-huh. All right. Let's go talk to Caleb, or do we just confront her directly? We're here, so I guess we'll confront her directly. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. I'd be up to my elbows and your guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Punch in the face. Even old Bess and Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hammer time. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? 
You be my guest. Sounds like a fun tycoon um, game. Sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange. So oh, your you're not flanging. I mean. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed. If Caleb wants. I saw your accounts. You've been skimming money for years. You can afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to but show? Cry me a freaking river. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah. If you pay the them more, you wouldn't have to work running. doubles. That money's mine, one way or another. This person is so fucking unethical. The poster, double dealing, just greedy AF. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise. But I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? <laughs> Smart. I don't know why your message got fla a flag. Apparently, flanger was considered a, a sexual term. Maybe, maybe there's something I don't know about it. Maybe you know, I'm just not. I'm just not with it. You know, I used to be with it, but they they changed what it was. Do I just go talk to Caleb now, or are we just done? Yep, inform Caleb that they'll negotiate. All right. It'll happen to you. Thanks, Robodyne. I'm happy you picked it up. I mean, it's not like Simpsons quotes are, are terribly um, uh, obscure. Although, I don't know if that's one of the more well-known ones. Why don't you grab Grandpa a chair? Simpson. Sit a spell and revel with us. I need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did Steal you want to discuss? Anyway. Uh No, you got your pay raise. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Yeah, can we still get his bit stash? Where was it? Problem is, I don't have a, a marker on the map anymore. Oh, I go through all the trouble of closing the door so no one will see me steal. No. I've seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity. Yeah, yeah the game doesn't tell you how much you get other than XP. Really weird. It'll tell you if you like gain or lose items. Sometimes it'll tell you. The Just the notification for it's a little weird and inconsistent. Um, all right. Well, I guess we don't know where Stash is, so... I'm betting. Let, let's go back to main questing for a little while. Or oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to go to Starcraw. No. The Empty Man is what we're going to do because we've got the Vicar with us and this is his personal companion quest. So let's go and do that and then we'll go and swap back to uh, Nyoka. When you can't keep up any longer, we'll put you down. <laughs> Gentle like. Wow. We'll put you out on an iceberg. Float you out to sea. So yeah, Max is looking for someone who can decode his you book. You see Arthur today? Man, last time I saw him. This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Dave. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Fresh during the bridge call. Can't believe I'm still stuck in this law forsaken town, but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise. Down the tunnel, on the riverbank outside of town. Oh, where the sprats are, maybe. Produced one nugget and two teeth. Wonder if I can find a dentist who'd pay something for the teeth. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, we're we're trying to to have the love affair happen. We're definitely playing matchmaker as much as we can. In the alleyways as bad as it's we, we, we. So, is it down here? Oh, it might be down this way. Not through this rat cave. Damn. Damn. Oh, there's something on the bed. Oops. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. This guy's angry. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Dumb. Max, if you're exhausted, maybe we should rest and look for the scholar later. I mean, you're so old, after all. What? You never cease to amaze me, you know that? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Proceed. Maybe you didn't know the book was in French. Why'd you lie to me? No, whatever, man. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Max, 